Yeah. So I guess uh, I think we want to ask our viewers, listeners, whether this this avatar kind of thing works for them. Uh, I know it works for us. Um, also, the fact that we're in different places. And I it's kind of neat to look at us this way. I think uh, I like it. Um, but, you know, we are now asking for comments specifically about this format. If you guys want to change anything um and more questions uh not just the format you should, do you like the way we dress do you like my hair um <laughs> do you like uh, neek's hair no. right do you uh the the uh the places we push this out to things like that um we really just want to take a moment to uh, ask for some comments and uh uh you know be friendly be harsh whatever uh if you think this is the dumbest thing ever or or if this is working for you I uh, just want to take a few moments to really discuss, you know, what work, what works, and what doesn't work about this format. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, That's right. Other things... so, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, maybe we wanted also to talk about uh, why. Why are we using this format on, on our mm -hmm. side, right? And so I think that one of the concern is that. Um, First of all, voice has always been very private, right? So we wanted to we wanted to keep that, and then there is also the consistency. We wanted like it was complicated to have like one person showing their face and then another one not showing their face. So mm -hmm. we thought that it was it was kind of a a better idea to to move and and try to do that. And of course, we understand that it is a little less personal that if you were saying our faces, but I think that it's more unique. It is like, there is nobody doing that. And, and so I think that it is also an interesting thing because I believe that those, every time we're trying to improve a little bit the quality, but I think that if it is really appreciated, like if people actually like it, um, we could also get a more defined avatars. Uh, we could, actually do something that looks uh, a little more professional have some trackers for uh, arms or things like that and it could exactly. actually be a very interesting thing i think i think that you know what i would always teach and most everyone who i've spoken to whether it's on concierge calls even when i've met people in person i encourage them not to use their personal information online i've mm -hmm. always been that way and I think that one of the biggest reasons that you don't is you make yourself a target. And there have been hundreds and hundreds of cases of individuals all the way up to people who own exchanges, all the way down to just regular people who make the mistake of speaking about cryptocurrencies and using their real information. Mm. Some of those people have been murdered. Some of those people have been injured. Some of those people have had family members injured. All sorts of things go along with that. I'm not an anonymous person, just like neither of you are. But online, I am a pseudo anonymous person. And there's been at least, I could say, um, personally, maybe 40 people, even in Divi and in other blockchains who I've met in person. So. Yep, it's um, yeah. it's just that's just the way I would do it. I, I'm no, I'm that's an excellent point. Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it is um, it is always a very good, uh, it is always a very good recommendation. We've seen many times how people become a target by up totally. too much, right? Um, so it it is understandable. Now, I think that not everyone is that familiar with that and with actually the importance of respecting those things um especially in crypto so that's why i think it's good to um you know explain um why what's the idea behind it and and again i think that we can also make it something unique and interesting and not just um a tool to uh, preserve the the identity right exactly yeah. exactly yeah. i mean all you have to do is google it you know you get how I got scammed out of my crypto. Yeah. People who know your personal name, um, a lot of people are freaked out about um, SIM hacks. That's one big thing. 
Well, sim hacks usually don't happen to people unless they're a big wig, right? So that means they are known for having access to or ownership of lots of stuff. Well, how do they get sim hacked? It's because people know their name. If you're a smaller person on a social media platform or a communication platform, whatever it is, Rocket Chat, Telegram, Discord, Facebook, you know, I guess it's whatever it's called now, Meta or something, Twitter, and you're using your real name that is very easily found um, for $15 or so, um, you put yourself at risk especially your address and all sorts of things. It just, it's not a good thing. There's so many examples of people losing everything or at least putting their life at risk because they're bragging accidentally about their assets. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not, not good to yeah. do. Yep. And uh, so that's, that's definitely one good reason for, for this. I, I'm obviously a lot less private. People know my real name. You guys are using my real name. Uh, people have my Twitter handles uh, and so forth. So, uh, it's not that I'm not worried about it. You don't, I don't post a lot of pictures of me. I definitely don't put up anything about my family, um, or my address or anything like that. People do know I live in different places. Um, but, um, so, but I, I definitely find this an easier platform, especially since my, I'm notorious for having a shitty camera. I've improved it, but you know, <laughs> it's just, I don't have to worry about what's behind me. There's a whole bunch of you know, convenience reasons why this works for me also. And I just like the consistency. It, uh, it also streams better. When you're streaming yeah. that full video, it streams at a different rate than the avatars do. So even though mm. the avatars are kind of goofy, if you look at the colors in the avatars, yeah. they're very simplistic in their details. And when you get these right. 1080p cameras or higher, right? Uh, these cameras can be so high in the streaming, it does try to adjust, but it just ends up being terrible. Yeah. Which is what we experienced with you. Remember that was. Yes. Yeah. Was something it definitely terrible. was bad. That's right. And we can, can also change any time where we are. Like I could change the, you know, the background of things like that. Right now we have this format, yeah. but or, I mean, or we ourselves. have. I can, <laughs> I can be different people. That's true. But we <laughs> have, we have really like a lot of options um, yeah. moving forward. And it is, again, something that is. Uh, very new. Like we are actually using a function in Zoom that is extremely new in beta. And uh, we will we will move forward. And we thought that it is still a little bit better quality than what you have in the, you know, 3D um, metaverse uh, yeah. websites. Yeah. It is. So it is a lot better. We're still, we're still looking into that. And we might move to that at some point when we consider it's actually uh, it's actually good enough. But right now, it's uh, it's good for us to record. We also record on another uh, another application so that we really have uh, the best sound possible. And and yeah, so that's um, that's currently what we have, and we we hope that you you actually like it. Uh, the feedback we have now seems to be pretty positive. We had a few, a very few people who, who who seems to be extremely angry at at this approach. But oh. besides that, um, most people seems to like it and find it funny. Maybe maybe they are hoping I'm a little old lady. I mean, that yeah, would there be you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. You're a little old no, lady. It's a... <laughs> but she's more younger looking, actually. Yeah, I can't get old. <laughs> um, so uh, but the only anybody who's had a con, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the only other thing really about this about our format is not just the way we look, but like what we're covering. Yeah. Um, so like we kind of do a theme where we do some more mark, like what's what's up in crypto kind of stuff. Uh, and then we'll do some technical stuff. We'll do some Divi stuff. We kind of keep it all Divi related. Today we talked about Cosmos. Um, and I guess I'm wondering from people if, if they would like it, if we had a segment, like a consistent segment of us talking about another chain, there's thousands of them out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's probably tens of interesting and good ones. Uh, that I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like, that aren't really just like copies of something else or 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 something like that. But nice. <laughs> Nick, yeah, don't um, make Nick yeah. mad. <laughs> Sorry, did I piss you off? <laughs> um, but yeah. So topic wise, also looking for input. Um, whether we want to keep it divioni only, do you want to dive down tech into more tech technical levels of blockchain and divi? Do you want to talk about other projects? Um, 
you know, if we're missing something and you want to see it and we, you know, and it's, you know, other people are, you know, agree or we agree, um, then let's get it in there. Um, I think exactly. Be, I don't, I don't, I think it'd be good to have more stuff. I think we can That's get right. super technical on, on yeah. Divi, right. And mm -hmm. I think we can get super technical on other blockchains. I, I know that I've worked with and I've helped. Oh, I can't, I can't even tell you how many different people but of course how many different blockchains that i've helped people get started on because they get stuck somewhere mm -hmm. but that also means that i also learn those protocols and many i've participated in even in their communities and so have you rob so yeah. from a technical standpoint we can get i can get very technical if we want to on cosmos to a certain level um and we can get technical on those but i think if I'm going to think about it, I think what we should probably do and the community can give feedback on it is how those other chains can integrate with what we're talking about. It's, I, I don't want to be an us versus them kind of a situation. Divi should be, um, everywhere. We'll put quotes around it. You know, yeah. that's, that was, no, the it's philosophy. not us versus them. I think that's, that's yeah. a huge point to make. Um, I fully do not believe in one chain to rule them all. Um, and in fact, what, what we're proposing with our side chains is us connecting to them. Uh, right. Trustlessly. Them, I mean, that's them, the big with deal. It, with that's quotes right. around that empty section, connecting to them. Who could be really anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like, I, I think that it will also be interesting. And that's what I think we've tried to, we've tried to do with the other episode. We try to go through um what others are proposing and how our proposal is um basically a better solution a, a step Correct. forward compared to where they are and and i think we'll continue to do that we will try to go deep down into each of those projects that again we actually think are great they're what they achieved is insane and so we want to show how we can improve those projects, like mm -hmm. we can improve Divi, right? And so we do believe that it is an opportunity for, for everybody at the end yeah. of the day. And, and yeah, and so it will be also an opportunity for those videos. We'll try to go through all that. And I think we will also um, circle back, right? We'll probably talk about topics that you already heard. Um, because again, we need, we need to be able to reach people. We need to be able to uh, talk again about those things. People won't go back to a video from two months ago. And so usually not, it, yeah. uh, come, come to us. If you want to hear about something particular, if you want us to go deeper on one topic, we could have talked about this topic in a video, but then you really want to have a special aspect of it. Um, their marketing campaign, the way they mm -hmm. deployed their technology. Um, mm -hmm. and then we can, we can definitely look into that. That's, um, that's something interesting. And I think also, uh, we, we might have, we will see, uh, because we're planning to have somebody, um, to interview somebody, a partner for this video, but yeah. the planning is a bit late, so we don't know if we will be able to fit it in. However, um, it will be coming, right? Like we were yeah. definitely talking with people. We're making sure that um, we make them come, talk about their product, talk about um, yeah. the new things they have. And, and yeah, and it is, I think that it is for us um, something that works. That's the a format that is working. And, and that's why we will uh, we'll keep moving forward with that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It's a good idea. Good. Yeah. So I think another thing that we wanted to talk about um, is, uh, do we want to talk about controversial topics? Right. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that, so it's interesting because it brings people from the outside, right. But it, it can also be complicated because TV has a specific direction and we obviously don't want to just, um, show that we're the best and others are bad. This is absolutely not our, um, our approach. And so. We're trying to see if you would be interested that we talk about those things. We actually approached a few like the Jenner situation or um, other topics. And so, yeah, what, what would be your idea on that? Maybe we could have spaces to talk about those things. Yeah, we haven't yeah. had spaces uh, for a long while. We've been doing this format and 
wow, I can't even talk about how much benefit this format is, regardless if we're asking for it. This format has provided lots of resources for us to cut up and share, and you're doing all the work, Neeks. But I think that Spaces provides a little bit more of a free thinking environment, right? And yeah. it, it allows people to sort of join and, and really quick ask questions. And we, we actually do get some questions and we are encouraging questions on the YouTube and on, you know, Twitter X, um, the videos that we have there. Um, make those comments relative to what, what, what's there. If you have a separate question, obviously if you have something unique that's unrelated, um, on this section of the video, add it here, you know, just make, make them so that, so that things are relative to what the topic is. And what we'll do is we'll just condense those all down and we can answer them. But a spaces will free your mind a little bit. It's a little bit harder to do. I think when we're re-recording or pre-recording these, as we have our topics, it would be kind of cool. Um, maybe even cool. We could actually spin this up like we're doing right now and do it live. Um, yeah, that would be nice. You know, that would be, be really cool. Mm -hmm. We could just do this. Nice. You can make the whole background really pretty, and uh, then we could just spin it up, and we can have people and guests and people ask questions, and then yeah, we could do all sorts of stuff. It would be it sure. would be cool. Do some live stuff. Yeah. <laughs>